Hello everyone, it's Talska here. I'm gonna make this video to quickly update you a little bit and also my friends on something. Um, everyone believed that this video, well, the video that's coming out is gonna be, well, it doesn't matter what the time schedule is in people's eyes, it doesn't matter. But I have a personal deadline and I'm gonna tell people what it is and this is why I'm kind of going crazy and getting a little bit upset about it. My personal deadline was Christmas Day. Not Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas, but Christmas Day. And when I thought about it, I thought, I have about four or five days to get this video done. Because I was expecting that Christmas Day was Saturday. No, I lost two days and it's on Thursday, I believe. Friday. Thursday, no, no, no. I'm lost. Thursday, we're going up to my name and props. Friday is Christmas Day. I thought it was Saturday, so never mind. I made a mistake. So, what I have to do in that time period now is I have to finish editing a video, and I did it in one shot, and I'm proud of that. And I have to make an intro, and I have to make it, and it has to be by the deadline for me personally, so got to try what I can do and what I can't do and do what I can. And then I have the outro art I have to do. I want to be a perfectionist with this video and I want to have it done by the deadline. So if we think about it, today is Tuesday, I believe it is. Let me verify that so I'm not wrong. Today is Tuesday. So I have today and uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I don't really have much time, but this is how many days I have. But really, in all honesty, is how many days I actually have to get all this stuff done. Two days. Two days to get the intro done. Two days to get the outro done. Two days to finish the video. I want to go beyond what I did before in terms of what I did with the video. This video is meant to be futuristic to show you what I want to do in the future and how I want to do things in the future. It's not going to be perfect, though. It's still never going to be perfect, but it's going to be... A freaking heck of a lot better. At least 500% better than it was originally. Maybe even 1500. Between 500 and 1500%. You can tell me in the end what you think of this video in comparison to the original. Anyway, guys, I do have a bit of a storyboard. I only scribbled it to get it done as quickly as possible. And I want people to know what to expect. It's like, I'm doing this. I didn't want to do this, I actually felt like, no, I'm not going to release any more spoilers, but I thought about it and I went, you know what, many um, animators go through this process and say, this is what we're going to do, and you're like, uh, this is just a bunch of scribbles, and then when you see what comes out in the end, you're able to interpret what the original thoughts on the idea were, and take a scribble and put it into something that's um, not a scribble. Something that's art in itself. My pictures, each picture that's going to be drawn up, every frame is about 100 frames that are going to be drawn up. Each frame is going to be 100, 1920 width by 180 height for HD resolution to match my video settings and my resolution on my monitor. Now, so you guys know, what I'm going to show you is every frame, you're not going to interpret it very well, it's going to look like crap to use, but you'll understand it after when it's done. Frame 1, well, key. F these are keyframes. Keyframe 1, keyframe 2, keyframe 3, keyframe 4, keyframe 5, keyframe 6, keyframe 7, keyframe 8, keyframe 9. Sorry guys, it's a bit hard. 9, where? Keyframe 10. Keyframe 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's basically a rough idea of what I'm going to do. And these are very small images. They're just stick man. They're going to be more detailed than that. Way more. I'm going to try and use a new art style that I've been practicing. However, I'm going to admit, I'm not going to try and do the keyframes and draw myself. I'm going to try and get someone else to do it. Because I use a mouse to do everything. And it can become so fidgety and frustrating. You draw everything wrong. I mean, 
look at my banner. I couldn't go into much detail of that because it was too hard and it also strained my hands to use that mouse. I feel like using a pencil or my fingers would have been a lot better because then I'd be using my wrist and I'd be able to draw a nice smooth circle by finger. Now, I, I haven't really practiced because when you have resistance on your finger it's basically third party. When you have almost no resistance on your finger it's first party so we're going to see how it turns out. I'm not going to talk about first party, third party but that's basically an update. The video has been made and it's almost perfect and I'm going to also inform you now that the video I, I said to people I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice. I practiced once before and the second time I practiced well I practiced the day before by figuring out what you need and I got to the best setup I could possibly make to beat the boss. The first time I did it with that exact setup, yep, thumbs up, I won. And then the second time was eh, iffy. But I managed to just barely beat the boss that's in my video. Now, once upon a time, I said that using potions is noob and not very efficient. I never said that this time and I'm proud of that because Using potions is not necessary for the noobs, because in this circumstance, it's very important to know how to use potions. The only time when it's for noobs is when it's a very easy boss that you find very easy. I, at the time, that boss was extremely easy. He had 1,500 life points per head, and then you pretty much kill him without his speed increasing, and you just had to dodge him, and he wasn't so powerful, didn't do as much damage and you could just dodge him, you didn't have to use potions. I only ever used one potion in that battle, but the newest battle... Oh my god! 36,500 life points on the boss. Very powerful. The other one's exactly 30,000 I believe, and I'm gonna make the comparisons on the video so people know the difference with hard mode and normal mode, and the past video. I'm gonna say past video and current video elite because it's, well actually it's going to be current video elite and I'm going to have pictures of the bosses and I'm going to have the life points in two different shades of colour so you know, oh this guy was easy and I'm going to have like red with yellow outline so you notice it or maybe a green outline, Christmassy sort of thing you know, in a bit of an easter egg I'm going to do that to make a point to everyone that this is the difference. I'm going to try and get the most highest damage points I could get from the boss because I have roughly the same amount of defense as I did back then. I'm going to get that to verify the damage difference between the two bosses, how much powerful they are in the current video. And I think that would be a good idea for people to know that stuff. Okay? Anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. More people like my content, more I'll post. Thank you all for watching. Acrophiliosis, everybody! Acrophiliosis! I, I had to do that because one of my favorite YouTubers does that.